Secrets. We all have them. Like how I secretly auditioned to be the zombie in Minecraft. But I got too into character and ate. Uh, you know what, it doesn't matter. Let's move on and get this episode done quickly. I need to be in court in six minutes. Greetings. My name is Narrator. I'm the executive producer of Minecraft Dungeons. And I'm also hoping that the real executive producer of Minecraft Dungeons doesn't watch this show. And I'm Marilla. I'm what happens if you put a microwave inside another microwave. This month, we thought we'd reveal how we obtained some of Minecraft's most acclaimed noises, including the noise of my contract being torn up. Wait, not, not really, though, right? We also think the show has been getting a little dark lately, so we're going to try and do a lighter episode. Right, friend? Yes, friend. Let's begin the lightest episode ever. We all go through a goth phase. Trust me, you'll miss it when you reach your mediocre middle-aged man phase. Point is, some of our lovely players can be a bit morbid. We're constantly getting comments asking us to explain how we get our death sounds. Now, you might be relieved to know that no animals are harmed to get our animal death sounds. And if you're not relieved to hear that, please stop watching our show now, you monster. I couldn't agree more. Everyone, stop watching. No, no, not everybody, just the people who hate animals. We don't want everybody to... Now that nobody's watching, I can safely say that the way we get our death sounds is actually by recording living animals and then making lots of edits to their alive sounds. Sometimes we use something called a negative pitch bend on an existing sound. Let's try a negative pitch bend on my voice. Huh, I don't feel any different. Can you hear any difference? Not really. You sound amazing as ever. Oh, thanks, friend. When adding an animal to Minecraft, we go to great efforts to record the real creature. I myself lived amongst a family of bears for six years to get our bear sounds. That's me in the top right corner, I think. But there aren't any bears in Minecraft. Yeah, they told me that after. Getting the sounds of some of the animals we actually have put in the game was almost as tricky. The axolotl gave us ax a lot of problems. <laughs> hmm, I was hoping the audience would laugh at that. But we don't film in front of an audience? Yes, we do. Can we turn the camera around, please? What? How long have they been there? Since episode one. I'm sure they'll laugh someday. Ah. Axolotls don't have any vocal organs. No shade here, neither do I. But they are very good at breathing, which means they occasionally hiccup or burp when they swim to the surface for air. It was tricky, but that's how we managed to record real axolotls and ended up getting ax -o lot of their sounds. Oh, I see how it is. However, you're not just hearing an axolotl when you encounter one in game, you're also hearing a very edited dog that we mixed in to make the Minecraft axolotl sounds. There's rumours that I'm also voiced by a heavily edited dog, but those rumours are bark, bark, bark. They're what? I said those rumours are ridiculous. Did you know that one of the phantom's noises is genuinely the sound of a baby crying? Marilla, don't do this. I wonder what made that baby cry in the first place. Come on, Marilla, hold back. I believe in you. Maybe they were crying. Because they just saw that the phantom had won the mob vote. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I know, I know. In the rare cases where we couldn't record the actual animals, those divas! It's not uncommon for us to blend a few other animals together to get the sound we want. The fox sounds are actually a dog and a cat combined. As for the sound of a baby panda sneezing, I volunteered to come into the studio and sneeze all over the mic, but apparently that's disgusting. And I don't have a nose. 
So, the sound of a baby panda sneezing is actually a combination of a baby panda, a parrot imitating a sneeze, and even our sound designer's cat. It was worth it though, because now I'm not in the game, and never will be. They remind me daily, every hour. I can't believe the developers are letting us reveal the mysteries of discs 11 and 13. That's because they aren't. Oh.